Let's find out what Nigerians are talking about on social media. Uh, Ohima Amaize is standing by. Good morning, Ohima. Good morning, Sally. Good morning, Chika Jinaka. Good morning. What's trending? Well, let's take a look. <laughs> Good morning, Nigeria, and welcome to Kakaki Social. I am Ohima Amaize, your anchor on this segment. This is a segment of the show where spotlight the issues shaping conversations in the Nigerian social media. Uh, so the national leader of the APC, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, turned 67 today. Ahead of his birthday yesterday, leaders of the APC, eminent Nigerians, ministers, senators, and uh, members of the Federal Executive Council, of course, uh, converged on the International Conference Center yesterday in Abuja to celebrate him at the annual Bola Ahmed Tinubu uh, colloquium. It held yesterday in Abuja, but on social media, we've seen a lot of uh, tributes uh, to the man who is popularly known as the Jagaban. Uh, we've seen a lot of tributes yesterday in the social media. Uh, first, even from President Muhammadu Buhari tweeting said, Happy birthday to Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, national leader of our great party, the APC pillar of democracy and father of modern Lagos state. His best years are still ahead. I pray that the almighty God will grant him longer life, health and more wisdom to keep serving Nigeria. And uh, the vice president also tweeted, said, happy birthday to an icon. You are a visionary who redefined governance by establishing a cabinet on merit and competence irrespective of ethnicity and religion. Happy birthday, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. That was from Prof. Yemi Oshibaja yesterday. And then the governor of Lagos State, Akim Miambode, in a tweet said, we celebrated the national leader of our party today at the 11th Bola Ahmed Tinubu colloquium held in Abuja. The team, next level, work for people, was very apt to demonstrate his role in the development of our nation's democracy. I uh, will take a look at some photographs from that event yesterday, which was trending. Bola Metinubu was trending on Twitter yesterday. Uh, these are some of the fit photographs that filtered in. That's the national chairman of the APC and the vice president having a tete-a-tete. -tete. And, of course, the governor of Kano State and the governor of Ikiti State, you can see them uh, uh, back slapping themselves. And then that's the CG of customs and then the governor of Kano State as well. Uh, let's go on and take a look at... Uh, uh, these are more photographs yesterday. Ahmed Ismail, the SSA to the president on social investment with uh, Paula Tinubu and of course uh, the cutting on, of the cake moment. We go and take a look at more tweets yesterday. Ilsa Aida tweeted and said a man like Bola Ahmed Tinubu hired the best on merit for his cabinet, the tribalized Nigerian, transformative leader, gifted, a curator of leaders. Happy birthday Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. And then uh, the APC in a tweet also Officially tweeting said, we joined the entire human race to celebrate the national leader of our great party, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu. His existence represents strength, democracy, passion, great leadership, astuteness and excellence. Bad colloquial. And then from Twitter, I use that Teguando one. I don't like the kind of politics we play in Nigeria. I didn't see Atiku and Bukola Saraki at the Bola Tinubu colloquium. So once you are in different political parties, you don't wish each other happy birthday. <laughs> Teguando tweeting that. Tireno Mokri in a tweet said, Tinubu learned from Okorocha's fate. After using him till he could be used no more, Buari and APC have now thrown Rochas away like a used sanitary pad. The same fate awaits Oshomole and Amechi. Mark my words, they are being tolerated, not celebrated. Right now, Mokri tweeting yesterday on the occasion of uh, the celebration of uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu's birthday. Yemi Fash in a tweet said, Oh, so despite the fact that Tinubu took his birthday colloquium to Abuja, President Buhari still did not see reason or find time to attend. It is well low. And speaking about President Buhari's attendance, the cable reported yesterday, Buhari absent at Tinubu's colloquium. Uh, let's take a look at details of that report yesterday. President Muhammad Buhari was absent at the colloquium yesterday, which held here at the International Conference Center in Abuja. President Muhammad Buhari is absent at the colloquium of Bola Tinubu, a national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC. The colloquium holds annually to mark the birthday of the former Lagos governor. This year's colloquium, which has the theme next level, Work for People is ongoing at the International Conference Center ICC Abuja. It is not clear why the president is not at the event, but Vice President Yemi Oshibaju is standing in for Buhari, who is supposed to be the chairman of the event. Buhari attended last year's colloquium and previous ones, which held in Lagos. But now it's in Abuja and then the president is not there. We move on very quickly from that issue to, of course, the politicking that is intensifying over the next, uh, over the past few days and will get even more ticker across the next few days uh, in the race for the leadership of the National Assembly. We conducted a poll on Kakaki social Twitter handle yesterday uh, to basically sample the minds of Nigerians. Uh, which of these contenders for the office of the Senate president of the Ninth National Assembly is best suited for the job? 
Drop your comments. Uh, we pulled for Ahmed Lawa, Danjuma Goje, Ali Ndume, and Oji Uzokalu. And interestingly, Ahmed Lawa has 18% of the votes. Danjuma Goje is leading that poll with 49% of the votes, as well as yesterday when we fired in this report. Uh, Ali Ndume has 17%, and Oji Kalu is at the bottom of that poll with 16% uh, of the votes cast. This is how Nigerians are reacting. 1,749 people have voted on this poll as at uh, midnight yesterday. Uh, let's go on and take a look at the same, a similar poll for the, for the House of uh, uh, Representatives. We asked this question. Which of these geopolitical zones should produce the next speaker of the Federal House of Representatives? Please drop your comments under. Uh, we've pulled for four uh, zones here, considering that the, the Northwest produced the president, and of course the Northeast, according to the APC, that's where they've zoned the Senate presidency to. So that leaves four zones, South, 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 East, Southwest, and North Central. And interestingly, again, in this poll, the South, South is, uh, the Southwest is at the bottom. Interestingly, the Southwest is at the bottom of the poll with just 9%, followed by the South, South, which has just 11%. The Southeast comes closer with 17%. And somehow, North Central has 63% of uh, the votes. Uh, and then there were comments also under this poll uh, suggesting from Abdullah Yusuf Kuta tweeting said, since 1999, the North Central has never produced a Speaker of the House of Reps. The North Central voted massively for the APC and it is payback time. And then we saw another tweet uh, from Solomon Akbenja, more and more, I respect PDP and what wisdom drove its fundamental ideals of fostering national cohesion and unity. PDP would have zoned its top ranking offices such that every region in Nigeria feels a part. They won't care what a region voted for PDP and which didn't. That was Solomon Akbenja tweeting. And from another Twitter, is a senator Nidu said, either the South South gets the speaker or SSG. We are being marginalized. Uh, from that Twitter user, we saw that. And also from Steve Tosin, another Twitter user, the North Central remains the most marginalized zone in the leadership of the National Assembly. The attached image speaks to that. In the interest of fairness and equity, the North Central should get the House of Rep Speaker seat in the next parliament. And of course, you can see the attached image, which is saying that uh, the Northwest has produced the Speaker three times, Southwest once, uh, Northeast uh, one, Deputy Speaker South South two times, Northeast once, uh, Southeast once one time, Southwest one time. And the North Central has never actually produced the Speaker of the House of Reps. So this Twitter user is making that case and making that argument. We move on from that issue now to these photographs that are trending in the social media. Uh, the wife of the Vice President, Dolakbo Shibanjo, has been seen in several photographs trending right now, assisting the wife of the President, uh, Aisha Buhari, with her head jail. This has got Nigerians talking in the social media. Uh, let's take a look properly. Uh, it was Punch that actually released this yesterday. Dolakbo lends a helping hand with Aisha's gele. Uh, Mobile Punch tweeting, shared these photographs. Let's take a look at the photographs more, more closely. In the first photograph, uh, you can see the wife of the Vice President, Dolakbo Shibanjo, has assisting uh, the wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, with her head gear. It probably wasn't even coincidental as there's another occasion of it happening. As you can see in, uh, on your screen, that is also the wife of the vice president uh, assisting the wife of the president, Aisha Buhari, with her head gear. And this has got tongues wagging in the social media. Let's take a look at some of the comments we saw yesterday. Let's go on very quickly. Uh, from Mudeka Ifunum, Dolako has suddenly become Aisha's gele maker. Hmm, I am still sleeping and hoping I am only dreaming. And then we saw more comments yesterday. Uh, Dai Ogobu posting said, There is nothing wrong in this if they relate well. And Dolakwa can tag Gili well. What is wrong is taking the pictures and posting it on social media. For what, Kwanu? Mischief. And then uh, more reactions yesterday. Uh, Zubachi in a tweet said, They always show where Dolakwa is helping out Aisha's Gili. Me, I'm waiting to see where Aisha helps out Dolakwa for anything before I believe these are not stage pictures. Uh, Zubachi <laughs> tweeted that Haji Youth in a tweet said, like husbands, like wives. Like their husbands, Mrs. Aisha Buari and Mrs. Dolakbo Shibajo are best of friends. No wonder things are working well. Where there's love, everything fits in perfectly. Uh, reactions of Nigerians yesterday to those photographs that you've seen. And then one trending video in the social media has caught our attention. The case of uh, a worry inventor, so to speak, that invented something that looks like uh, an aircraft, um, but the interesting thing about it is that it actually flies. And then this was posted by Olushegun Adeni on his uh, Twitter handle. Olushegun Adeni, that's the chairman of the editorial board of Disney newspapers, shared this video on Twitter a couple of days ago. Uh, let's go and take a look at uh, these videos properly. Olushegun the verdict tweeting said, D Wafi, inventor. Uh, let's take a look at this video. Okay. You know what, 
samotná. Glory to the Kerala's, to the Pades, the Goodes. That's all, my brother. You see, I saw say the plan. Not the witch. These are simple physics. Simple physics, my country people. And also one day, the way this jet they fly, they go high. Now I saw this state, that has state, it goes so, go high. Because this state, God bless us, so many, many good people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. 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 I <laughs> 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 Wadi, that's all. That's it, that's God bless us. When I see us, oh, my country people. That's all you give. This is my video on how I take this plane. It's for market. Mama, Papa, we're going to buy for our picking. Make them smart. So that before 10, 20 years from now, we go build yet for this state. My country people, God will bless you now. Now me, Bruna Ma, Ejiri, a.k.a. Ejitendo. God bless you now. Okay, did you see that? I thought that was a perfect landing. And then in another video, another part of that video, he explains the technology behind his invention. Let's take a look at this one. Uh-huh, my country people. Now me, be Ejiri, a.k.a. Ejitendo. Don't let Wafi guy, where like I say they use float until they build aeroplane. Not the wish. So many times people don't tell me, say, bros, why you forget your jazz till they build aeroplane? No jazz for this one. This one has simple mathematics, addition, multiplication, and subtraction. Now, what you will just draw on your own and you design now. No wish for inside. I mean, look at now, floater, like this. Floater. No magic. I go test and na 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 na. I go fly. When I will see so, now I want to so they wash you. Now they wash them. They wash and they go. Not be jazz. Uh -huh. I'll put the battery now. So I want to check out my control surface, whether they work. Then they work. Can't pay. My motor, they work. Can't pay. Okay. Now we see now. Whether I go fly, I mean, I just. Now we just, so. Now, simple physics. Okay. You know what, Sean? See how you want to come up now. Worry not the Kerala's, worry the baddest, the goodest. That's all, my brother. Okay, that's uh, amazing, really. And um, instead of uh, thinking about uh, producing pencils, I think the Ministry of Science and Technology can actually create a hub for some of our tech guys. Maybe create our own Silicon Valley, put them somewhere, incubate them, and help them develop more of their talent and 
this kind of things that we are seeing. How we go now to Insta blog where we seen this video trending yesterday. Abusive dad flees as his daughter stands up to him. A man has fled home after his daughter stood up to him during one of his numerous assaults on Sunday in Ikorodu, Lagos. According to a neighbor who witnessed the incident, the man is known for beating his wife and children. However, the girl who has had enough decided to fight back. In the video, she can be heard saying, kill me. You are a shameless father. It is better not to have a father than to have you. Let's take a look at this video and some of the comments that followed. Okay, let's see how Nigerians are reacting to that video. I'm B3 Graham posting said, If you've never had this kind of father, you can never understand. Andrew Gemini said, May we never give birth to kids and treat them so stupidly, they stand up to us stupidly. Kunle Real said, Don't know what transpired, but God will not let me see what will make me lay hands on my parents. I would rather walk away. Uh, from that uh, uh, post here, yeah, we saw that uh, Miriam Farouk once said she's very stupid. This is the kind that can't be submissive to her husband. See the way she's jacking his shirt. No matter what, he's your father. If you can't keep quiet and collect the beating in peace, how can you learn to be submissive to your husband? Uh, I don't really understand. Does submission to your husband mean uh, uh, making yourself available for, for panel beating? Jade, Jade Inkling8787 person said, I can never blame this girl because I once stood up to my dad too due to extreme domestic violence. After beating my mom, he will wreak his anger on us too. Best way to go, girl. May God liberate you and your mom soon from this slavery. This shit is real. From Jade Inkling8787, we saw that. And then this very touching video for me man collapses on his way to work dies as people refuse to help a middle-aged man has lost his life after collapsing while on his way to work this morning in lagos this was yesterday the year to be identified man fell along the street in the butameta and was said to be alive for a couple of minutes but everyone was afraid to go close to him due to fear after some battle for his life he gave up the ghost as the ambulance called also failed to show up for over one hour this is happening in Nigeria. So the man was just left there to die. People saw him collapse. Nobody could reach to him and assist him. They watched him struggle till he gave up the ghost. And somebody actually took his phone and was filming why this whole thing happened. Let's take a look at this video and some of the comments that followed. Okay, we'll take a look at some of the comments now. Wage just posting said, Nigeria, my country, they prefer videoing for Insta blog to see or Tunde Ed not to see than to save people nowadays. Only God will protect us because some people have dedicated their life to the internet. May his soul rest in peace. And uh, more comments yesterday. I am Dave Chooks, 08 posting said, This is Nigeria where people's lives are taken for granted. What stopped them from taking care of him when they knew he was still alive? Even our medical system is a failure. I can't wait to run away from this country and never to return again. I am Dave Chooks, 08 posted that. And then from I'm Romeo Francis, Nigeria is such a funny country. No one is ready to render help anymore because they might be victims of a crime they did not commit. Another angle there to the conversation. St. Patrick's posting said, This is the new Nigeria I know. People prefer to be Clarence Peters than to help their neighbors. People now prefer to be the first to send to Insta blog and get nothing in return than to save a life. This nonsense must stop. Yes, this nonsense actually has to, to stop. When you find someone in such a situation, the first thing is to reach out to them to assist them or call for help immediately. Yesterday, we brought you the issue of an orphanage in Kubo, Abuja that was demolished by the FCDA. Uh, a lot of Nigerians have uh, reacted to that development with outrage. I was, I was going to bring you the account details yesterday of this orphanage for those who are willing to support. Uh, and these are the details. Account name is Divine Wounds of Jesus Orphanage Home. Account number is 0024877371. The bank is Diamond Bank and you can call Ikezui Emuoka Charles, Director of Affairs at the Orphanage on 
8313. A lot of kids, some as old as four months, three months, were left in the open. So rendered completely homeless after that orphanage was destroyed and there was no court order. They just came with their, uh, with, their, with their instruments and their equipment and pulled down the building, leaving the orphans completely homeless. Okay, and then uh, we move on now and take a look at this very interesting video, just as we wrap up Kakaki Social. So when um, your girlfriend leaves you, dumps you, because you don't have money, and then sometime in the future you make your money and then she decides to come back, what do you do? This Ghanaian man has an answer for that. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at this video as we wrap up this segment of the show. Let's take a look. You see, when you're the hustle, hmm, and some girl leave you, and you make money, and the girl come back, oh, accept the apology. Promise her marriage. Go for a house. Tell the family, say, Charlie, because of the love you have for the girl, you won't renovate them a house. Take off the roof of the house. Bam. <laughs> and escape. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> I would advise you to do that. <laughs> well, this is where we draw the curtain this morning on Kakaki Social. Please follow the conversation on all our social media platforms at Kakaki Social on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kakaki Social. I am Ohima Maize. Kakaki Social returns Monday next week at 8 a.m. Uh, we'll take a short break now, and when we return, the conversation with Salamatu and Chikodinaka continues. Stay tuned.